Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my hood. I don't know. Okay. I've been a bad witch. I've been a bad witch for almost like a year now. And not on the like, oh, I'm a bad witch. No, not like that. Like, I've literally been. I'm sorry, this smoke is in my face. I've literally been a bad witch like in my spiritual journey I feel like I have reached a plateau and I think it's because I got pregnant I had my baby and like he is kind of the main priority and I feel like every time that I try to have a little time for myself like some self love or do what I like to do like witchcraft I either don't have time or people make me feel bad or I make myself feel bad for like trying to get my spirituality back where it's supposed to be cause I remember okay I need to move this like I remember when I was so happy and carefree and burning sage every day and like doing what I love like witchcraft and stuff like that and inside felt right like I felt aligned I felt good now I don't feel like that like my life is cool and I'm a mother and I'm someone's girlfriend slash baby mama and like living with a person who doesn't do the same stuff as you do every day is is different and like how you're you could be clean and that person might not be as clean and it kind of like messes with your head well at least for me messes with my head um and I think it messes with my space because I feel like when I used to cleanse myself like I clean my room my space is clean like my literal space is clean and then I'm clean I cleanse myself and I don't know I just know that mentally and spiritually I'm not where I need to be and I keep thinking of the time where I was and it's just not like that right now I don't know what to do like I recently done a spell but it was for another person um, I don't have any motivation like I don't have any motivation to cleanse crystals do spell work read um, like just inform myself study you know I have I mean I've done oracle cards probably like last week or something but I used to do that shit almost every day every other day and I just don't do it anymore and my love for the craft has not diminished it has not diminished I still get that fiery feeling every time I think about it or I talk about it I just don't do it and I think it's because I tell myself I don't have the time to do it <sighs> feel like I'm falling now. And like this was my life and I know it's still a part of my life and I still want it to be my life. But I don't know. It doesn't make me feel guilty. Like anything I want to do for myself makes me feel guilty and I know it shouldn't be like that. But I mean it's always my son first or... I don't know, you have to put other people in front of you. And when I was younger, I was a very sensitive person, and I always put everybody in front of me. I didn't care if it hurt my feelings or whatever. I would just go cry by myself um, somewhere over there where no one could see me, you know, in my room or something. Um, but as I got older and when I was talking about that place where I was really happy, I thought about myself. I thought about things that made me happy I did the things that made me happy and I was so carefree for a long time like I was genuinely happy and I'm trying to balance that life and my mom life together 
but I think I know what the problem is. I think I know what the problem is, but I don't know. It's just a lot to digest and get back into the swing of things and like a routine, but routines are boring, you know, and routine makes it feel forced. I don't want to feel forced. I don't want to feel forced at all. So, if y'all have, I watched this video, y'all, oh my gosh, oh, so much witchy stuff to talk about. I watched this video by, um, one of the witches on YouTube, what's her name? Molly something. I can look it up. I think she reminds me of like a hippie, old fashioned gypsy type witch, you know? Yeah, no, Molly Roberts. There we go. This person. She made a video called For the Tired Witches. And that video resonated with me so good. Like, inside, I was just like, yes, someone understands. And then today, she posted this video like two days ago. But one of the witches that I grew up with um, on YouTube, well, I didn't grow up with her, but like she taught me because I watched her videos, is Harmony Nice. Um, she retired or quit YouTube, and that's good for her. Like, of course, it would be sad not to look at the videos. I mean, that she's not going to make any new content. But I still get to look at back on her videos and she's taught me so much and all this other stuff. I don't even think she made a book. I didn't buy it yet, but I'm going to um, called Wicca and I didn't buy it because I'm not a Wiccan, but I still like to be informed about things. Um, but she quit YouTube, you guys, because she's finding herself you know and I feel like I need to find myself but I'm not gonna quit YouTube and I don't have a regular posting schedule I post whenever I want whenever I feel inspired because I do not get paid to do this you know and I feel like I wouldn't want to get paid to do this because it'll put too much pressure on me and I'm not gonna enjoy it anymore but I like YouTube but sometimes time does catch up with me or I got other things to worry about, or I'm busy doing something, working, being with my baby, or my family, or whatnot. So, sometimes editing and posting is a lot of work. Like, a girl wants to play Sims, and I finally updated my mods. But did, has she played it yet? No, and I updated yesterday. I just want to do so many self things, but when I want to do self stuff, stuff for myself makes me look lazy it makes me feel guilty and I don't like that because a mom's a mom's mental health how she feels inside her feelings matter okay her feelings really do matter I don't know why people think oh you pop out your baby you're back to normal now no you're not no, you're not. Maybe your hormones don't start settling down to your six months postpartum. And then you still have your baby, you know, that needs you all the time. And just like other factors, relationship stuff and all this other stuff. And it takes a toll on you, on how you look on the outside, which affects the inside. Because you've always seen yourself like this on the outside and now you're not like that anymore. So it fucks you up on the inside. And my body's definitely not the same, bitch. A bitch is definitely sometimes insecure a little bit. But that's a that could be a whole different video for like a mommy video. But being pregnant has affected my spirituality. Not gonna lie. And I don't know how long it's gonna take me to get it back on track, but baby, we're gonna get it back on track. Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys, um, I finally opened up shop. What does that mean, Mia? It means ever since that I was a little girl, I wanted to open up a witch shop slash apothecary or, um, yeah, that's exactly what it is. Um, so I've opened it 
I haven't made a website yet, but I did start the first steps of my shop and it's making an Etsy account. So I have an Etsy account. I have two products on there. I make luck and protection spell bottles and anti-depression and anxiety spell bottles. And both of them are on my shop. My shop is Nia Naturally. Um, there's no space. And the website is www.etsy.com slash shop slash Nia Naturally. I think if not, I'll just put it in the video somewhere. But yeah, I just want to have a quick talk with you guys about that. Um, I am in the process of pursuing my dreams, so go support a black witch. Um, not only is she a witch, but she is black. Not only is she black, but she is um, a business owner now. Like, a bitch is getting her stickers like my actual logo on a sticker you have to come up with a logo you have to do so much stuff but it's fun it's what i'm passionate about so i'm going to do it and it's going to succeed so support me um that's just you know i didn't mean it for it to sound aggressive but that was just me speaking it into existence because the universe is going to hear me um, I will be posting more witchy videos. I haven't posted one in like a kajillion years, but she's about to start. Okay, I actually got one ready. I just need to do a voiceover and I'm waiting for my new microphone to come in. But tell, baby, when she come in, when she come in, um, yeah. So, thank y'all for watching. Thank you for watching my video. Um, peace out. Love you. Bye. Ugh.